These are the top climbing moments of 2023, part 1, the triumph of 10 years. In the twilight days of his pro climbing career, Mikhail Mawem stood at the precipice of a dream, a dream that eluded him for an entire decade. Chaque fois que je retourne en isolement, je fais le vide, j'essaye de penser à rien. Je suis léger. Allez, petit. Tu peux le faire. As a climber over 30 years old, he faced the daunting reality of competing against the rising tide of young prodigies. The first Olympics introduced a new style of competition bouldering, a challenge that demanded Mawem to relearn, adapt, and persevere. Day after day, with no respite, he toiled, driven by a singular goal to be the best in the world, even if it was just one time. In 2023, it was a world championship like no other. This battleground gathered all the titans of climbing where no athlete chose to skip. And all the strongest climbers on that day were not on hiatus. They were there to compete and they were all serious. The arena pulsated with the presence of every top climber from around the globe vying for its glory. As Mikhail Mayam navigated through the relentless competition, his experience became his beacon. The ardour's journey, the sacrifices, the absence of holidays, all etched into the fabric of his climb. The competition was fierce, the stakes were high, and Mayam, against all odds, faced each boulder, each challenge, with unwavering determination, and became the best in the world. J'ai fait beaucoup de sacrifices dans ma vie pour l'escalade. Et ce moment, il était particulier dans ma vie. J'avais envie d'être seul. Un moment qu'on ne peut pas m'enlever, c'est j'ai coché la case de la plus grande case de ma vie. Maintenant, c'est bon, je suis libre. Maintenant, je peux vivre heureux. Part 2. Jakob Schubert's Odyssey. Scaling Project Big. Embarking on an odyssey that transcended the boundaries of fear, Jakob Schubert stood at the foot of Project Big in the unforgiving terrains of Flatsinger, Norway. In a groundbreaking move, Schubert brought the world closer to the climb, live-streaming his attempts in real time, an unprecedented act in the climbing community. The vulnerability of climbing at such a scale and difficulty was laid bare for the entire world watching, holding its breath with every move. Jakob Schubert, a solidarity figure on the rock face, connected the global climbing community in a shared experience, blurring the lines between climber and spectator. As the climb unfolded over screens worldwide, the intensity mounted. The world witnessed the struggle, the falls, the attempts, and the indomitable spirit of a climber pushing the boundaries of what was deemed possible. In a climatic crescendo, after several attempts, the moment arrived. A collective breath held at Schubert Concrete B.I.G. The climb, live streamed all over the world to see, became a celebration of shared triumph. In that moment, we weren't just spectators, we were a part of Jakob Schubert's journey, standing together as a global climbing community. Part, and this, the horn had a crack, but I was holding it many times before, it never was a problem, but just today on the sand, this horn breaks, and I was like almost falling. Repeating the burden of dreams. 2023 was a huge year for Will Bosey. He embarked on a 24-day odyssey to tackle the infamous V17 boulder burden of dreams. In his 14th session, a momentous attempt unfolded, marking the third climber in the world to conquer two V17 boulders, a feat only achieved by Sean Rabbitu and Simon Lorenzi before him. Yet, Will Bosey's ascent wasn't just a solo endeavour. Earlier during the year of 2023, fellow pro climber Aidan Roberts pioneered a groundbreaking approach. He scanned the holes of Burden of Dreams and made replica holes with, in collaboration with Core Climbing. A replica problem therefore took shape in the Lattice HQ, where Aidan and Will in tandem spent 10 days projecting the climb in the replica indoors. Linking the problem in two halves, the journey extended beyond the indoor realms. In March, Will ventured into Finland, a land of granite and wilderness. The 
culmination of his special training and the collective insights and relentless determination paved the way for his April ascent. And Will Bosey's words echoed the resonance of collective success. This triumph was not just Will Bosey's triumph, but a symphony orchestrated by Bosey, Aidan Roberts, Sean Rabbitu, Lattice Training, Core Climbing. You know, in this era where technology introduces new surfaces to climb on, Bosey's ascent stands as a testament of the collective spirit of the climbing community. This achievement was the culmination of not just the outdoor bouldering world, but the indoor climbing holds technology as well. Indoor climbing holds technology not only enhances training, but propels the boundaries of what's possible together. And before the top two climbing moments, this is the record-breaking V16 Ascent by Louise Cat Inc. And this guy, this guy is going to be the Olympic gold champion. I have all my money on him, guys. This guy is going to be breaking through. He's a beginner, just started this year, but we will see him in the gold podium at the Olympics in Paris. Who do you think will win the bronze, silver, and gold at the Olympics? Comment down below. Part four, the Olympic qualifiers. Now this Olympic qualifiers at the World Championships wasn't unlike any other. This was already a second time these athletes were going through this. And so some had experience coming in and there were many prodigies waiting to steal a spot. But everybody expected the top performers to come through. But somehow, some way, the veterans are not going to give up their spot too easily. Now, this was only a very, very slim chance, but because Sorato Anraku was almost 100% almost going to get Olympic tickets some way or another, there only leaves like one spot left for another male Japanese climber. And there were so many in contention, so many young guns coming up, Kokoro Fuji, Yoshiki Ogata, and several others as well. But one man really wanted it the most and this man did not do well in the previous olympics he was really wrecked last year he did he, the boulder set for him in the finals the second boulder was set for him and he could not do it and it was so heartbreaking for him and the speed he kind of slipped as well and i predicted this before, by the way but this was the last chance probably the only chance he gets to go back into the Olympics before he gets too old, before he retires. And that's why, in this edging moment, Tomara Narasaki somehow, someway pulled through to finally the thinly qualified for the Olympics, achieving bronze. And it was such a touching moment when he finally realized Akio Noguchi was bawling her eyes out. I believe she was still pregnant at the time, or just conceived, and it was just a huge wholesome family moment, and a huge wave of pressure off his shoulders. But despite all, you know, like the young guns coming in, like Toby Roberts, Sorato and Raku, Manchester Slark, somehow, some way, experience and the veterans pulled through. Jakob Schubert showing it how it's done, despite. You know, being in like the, coming from the old school era, an old school decade of competition climbing, he's able to compete with all the young guns. And at the ripe old age of 30 plus, I believe he was 33 this year, um, and he still managed to go through. So super inspiring. After this, he did manage to send Project Big, so he's really at the top, and he's definitely not stopping. I really want you to. I really want to know like who are your podiums, and who are your top three in the 2024 Olympics in Paris? Let me know down in the comment section down below. I'll be putting my predictions as well. What was your favorite boulder problem? Uh... Part number five, Sorato and Raku's stardom. And what can I say about this guy? This guy is almost a complete Package. He has several weaknesses, 
um, and we can kind of go through them a little bit in detail in another video. But he's almost like the complete package. He's almost like the complete climber, and no other person is the favorite to win the Olympics other than Serato and Raku. He's just mature for his age. He has such great uh, understanding of the competition landscape. He knows how to pace himself. His timing is perfect. How he times the attempts and maybe he has some kind of skills lacking in some coordination but he's been so so precise in everything else. He's powerful when he needs to be. He's calm when he needs to be. He's the ultimate climbing machine. Sticky Sorato and Raku. He is my personal top favorite top climbing moment uh, but if you could put a person into a moment so let me know what you're looking forward to in 2024 hope you really enjoy 2023 i'm still looking back at it and saying wow what a great year but this year is going to be awesome as well let me know who you think will win the olympics this year and i'll see you guys in the next one i'll keep climbing and ali